ton of programs available in the United States, and it's fully funded for the most part. Now, um, not all exchange programs are fully funded, but there's a lot of scholarships that are available out there to you. And there's a lot of scholarships ava scholarship available to you at all levels. So say you're a high school student wanting to study in the United States. Do you think we have a program for that? Yes! yes. All right, education that is possible to get. Um, but I will also say, though, that I had a teacher once tell me there's always room for cream at the top. Yeah. Hello. Hi. I'm actually a high school student. and. Awesome. Uh, I have doubts regarding my career, so I wish to pursue medicine. I want to know whether going to the US will help me with my career. Is it cost feasible? Yes. Will I get good opportunities? Yes to all of the above. There are great opportunities in the United States. We have some of the best medical training programs in the world. Um, some of the best doctors in the world practice in the United States. We had investors and funders who spoke to them. And all of them discussed about the pipeline that the future generation, they need more preparation than we who are now doing in our careers than, than what we were prepared for. Thank you once again for um, inviting me today. Um, so what I would like to talk about today is about really thinking through what it is that we want um, to sustain, right? creating a pipeline that actually meets people's needs and that is sustainable. So these are the expectations that are supposed to be. a more enabling ecosystem for women to participate and lead in workplaces. As you may be aware, SDG 5 is the Gender Equality Sustainable Development Goal and none of the countries in the world have achieved, be able to achieve it by 2030. So we really need to do things differently. So with that, over to you, Shodeshta a pill when they are 25 that yes tomorrow onwards you are rising. Do you know that in Calcutta the class 11, 12 schools for the boys, the typical good <laughs> boys schools, St. Xavier, St. Lawrence, La Martinia, St. James, whatever you name it, they do not offer 11, 12 humanities for the boys. Okay, okay. Uh, I prefer to stand up being a teacher. Yeah, it's okay, I stand up here. So, uh, as the introduction goes, my name is Irene Arjwad Kimi, difficult to pronounce for many of you. I am a professor in the Department of Mass Communication, Mizoram University. And then, so this is our university in Mizoram. All are welcome anytime. Yes. Okay, uh, so we were talking about media. We know how important is the media, especially in a democracy setup. Facts and figures to show. So I will stand over here and maybe uh, run through some of the workforce time limits in the northeastern state, including Nathan. I just have seven minutes. I'm going to run the marathon here, okay? So uh, what we're going to do here in today's uh, uh, quick talk is I'm going to talk about the dynamics of the workforce participation, particularly focusing now. It's highly male-dominated. How many of you think that? Is it correct? It's like women, like entrepreneurship is, field it is highly male dominated area. Do you agree? Traditionally? Yes? I'm yes? yes. from Darjeeling. So today what I'm going to present is about Darjeeling uh, non-farm sector. Whenever I say that I'm from Darjeeling, I usually get one of the answers from these two that uh, oh, it's a very beautiful place. I have been there, the scenic beauty and all you know, toy trains. And another is, oh, I really want to be in that place. I really want to visit that place. It has been in my bucket list. If there's a gaming uh, uh, education, women don't have any facilities over there in the gaming world. Only men are getting this uh, development. Before we begin, uh, I would like to formulate a simple structure which will act as a lens to look at this problem, which is going to be suitable for an Indian married female. Uh, I'm not going to go into the uh, nitty gritty of the mathematical models and the analytics that the economists generally tend to do, but I would like you all to consider this as a simple thinking exercise. Because I'm the boss. <laughs> I tend to do that. <laughs>
you need to understand how loans work, how do you go, go ahead and get all the opportunities and entitlements that you can avail of by virtue of merit and need. Uh, before, particularly on the research front, uh, what we saw was data speaks. So all the researchers actually validated, substantiated their points with painstakingly collected data because today all of us are in a data-driven world. Functions for the eastern region, sales, marketing and after sales functions in Tata Motors and I also lead diversity, equity and inclusion at Tata Motors. And a lot of majority women, right? But what I want us to think for a second is every time we talk about inclusive career pathways, what, what does inclusivity really mean? And Breakthrough is an organization and we are based out of Delhi. We work with adolescents like Shanti, jinko aspiration ka matlab bhi samaj mein nahi aata tha. Like if we, when we would go to the villages of Haryana and UP and if we would ask these girls like what do you want to become, they would just stare at us. Hello everyone, this was a very wonderful session uh, in which we got a chance to learn about uh, new career options and how women have become pioneers in different fields from data science to manufacturing to finance. It was a wonderful experience learning from and hearing from already successful women who could give us some valuable advice that we can use in our careers. Thank you. Hello everybody. This event was really amazing. I got to learn a lot more about career options and how women can pursue them in different states of the nation and how this is improving women's condition in our nation and abroad and how people can achieve their dreams by just by seeing their inspiration and attributes. So it was really wonderful to be a part of this session. So it was really nice. Thank you.